Hey guys, it's Lee, and I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul. I know, two in one week. That's crazy. Anyway, I was headed up towards Harrisburg yesterday, and I stopped in the store in Newberry. I stopped at the store in New Cumberland, and then I went to the store in Le Moyne. I found something really awesome that I'm going to wait till the end to show you. Um, but you probably already saw it in the thumbnail, but that's okay. Um, I'm just really excited about that find. Also, I do have pictures of items that I saw in the store that I didn't want or need to buy, but I thought you might like to see. So make sure you hang around to check those out. Starting off with food, I found three more of the Barilla Ready Pasta. I haven't seen these in a while, but the door I was in had three and I bought all three. So I got two of the Rotini and one of the Gemelli. I know a lot of people don't like these, but we do. So I bought them. <laughs> Next I picked up two of these Ready Protein Waters. It says, where does this one say it? Well, okay, let's start with the Black Cherry it has 15 grams of protein, zero grams of sugar, and five electrolytes for hydration. And this is 16.9 16 ounces. And then this one just says zero added sugar. Oh my goodness, that has 25 carbs though. This one only has one carb. These um, are something my son will drink anyway. I don't generally buy this kind of stuff for my husband who is diabetic. Also for my son, I picked up two of these Aguas Frescas. I got, these are by Minute Maid and they're a juice beverage. So I got mango, he likes mango. I personally do not like mango. Um, and then I picked up strawberry as well. Those are 16 fluid ounces. In my last haul, I picked up two of these Idahoan mashed potato pouches. And I decided to get two more just to stick on the shelf. Um, like I said in that video, they make excellent mashed potatoes. Also, you can use potato flakes in making bread or in thickening soups. I'm sure there are other uses for them, so if you know any, make sure you let me know down below. Next, I picked up two of these Splenda creamers. This one is sweet cream. There's no sugar in them, and there's 15 calories, so I got sweet cream and French vanilla. My husband and son both like these, so I just got one more. I used up the last taco seasoning mix we had. This is the El Paso Hot and Spicy. My husband really likes this kind. I know this probably isn't the best deal, but I picked it up at the Dollar Tree I was in when I saw it, and that helps me avoid going into the grocery store where I will spend more money. Next, I wanted to try the freeze-dried strawberries. And the first store I went in had the strawberry banana. And if you are interested, this is a product of Malaysia. Um, so I picked up one of these. It's only 16 grams. Um, it's 100% fruit, no sugar added. And then I found in another store just the freeze-dried strawberries. This one is a product of Turkey. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to try those. So I bought them. If I don't like them, uh, my son will either eat them or I will put them in banana bread when I make it and my son will eat them that way. Next, I got four of these fresh and, cr fresh and clean laundry detergent pods. I use these for dog blankets and towels. And sometimes when I go in the stores, when I need them, they don't have them. And I do go through these pretty quickly because I use two or three in each load, depending what I'm washing, but I go through them fast. Um, and I, I really like them. So I got four. The store had a billion of them. Maybe, okay, maybe 30. But yeah, I ended up picking up four of those. I got one of the Brillo Basics dish spray. It says clean, rinse, spray. So I don't know why it says clean, rinse, spray, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> I got one of these and it's 10 fluid ounces. I picked up one 
pack of these toothbrushes because I really like them. They're the Reach Essentials. They are soft and they have a, um, it says a free brush cap. But these are my favorite toothbrush, so I grabbed one more pack of those. And then I found these Sassy and Chic Cleansing Duo Facial Brushes. So you have the bristles on one side and then the um, silicone on the other side. I got the greenish one, it's blue-green, and a pink one. The pink one for me, the, this one is for my daughter. She, I'm going to go back over to visit her in June, um, going with her best friend, and then she'll be home sometime in December. So I, I'll either take it in June or I'll give it to her in December. So next is something I have been looking for, um, just because I think they're kind of cool. I found the fashion toenails, so I can have fancy toenails. My nails are super thin, my fingernails and toenails. That's why I get fake nails because they're so thin and they break and tear so easily. So I thought that these might be fun. So I picked up this color and I got this blue geometric pattern, blue and yellow. And I got this one with that's red with cherries. That is so cute. And this one is my favorite. It is pink with little flowers. I love this one. I actually should take this and show my nail guy because I like those dot flowers. So maybe I'll take it and show him and see if he can uh, do those on my nail sometime. I mean, I'm sure he can. So then I couldn't find regular nail glue, but I did find these nail tabs. They say super adhesive, 24 tabs, six different sizes. I picked up two packs of them. Um, I kind of just wanted regular nail glue, but none of the Dollar Trees I went in had it. So I, I got these. Actually, that's not true. I found these at the New Cumberland store and I had already been to the Newberry store. So I didn't find them in New Cumberland or um, Lemoyne. Another nail product I've been on the lookout for since I saw Sherry at Twisted Gypsy haul it. And these are the cuticle oil pens. I, my cuticles, well, I'm not even going to show you up close. I, I need to use cuticle oil more often. I have it. Oh, I just need to make sure I use it. So I'm going to put one of these by my bed. I'm going to put one in the bathroom upstairs, my bathroom. So maybe when I'm getting ready for bed, I'll see it by the sink. And remember, and I'm going to keep one downstairs. <laughs> so hopefully I remember to use them. So I got two in mango. And I got two in lavender. And maybe I will put this one, I don't know, I'll find another place to put the fourth one. So maybe if they're just hanging around, I'll remember to use cuticle oil. Next up, I picked up two tape measures. This is the first time I'd seen them in Dollar Tree. So they're really nice to have on hand. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. I might put one in my car. We'll see. It's just nice to have tape measures around. I found more of these GRX Cut Series um, cut resistant, cut resistant, durable dip coated, durable dipped coated palm gloves. <laughs> I bought the last ones and they were uh, extra large and these are in large. They're still a little too big for me, um, but they fit better than the extra large ones did. My husband did use a pair of the extra large ones cleaning up sticks in the backyard because when that wind storm came through, Lots of little limbs and sticks blew off the trees. So he did use these and they worked really well. I got some more citronella stuff. It gets very mosquito-y around here in the summer. So I got the citronella incense sticks and they are for outdoor use. You get six pieces and these do work. So I picked up two packs of those. I think I still have one left from last year, but I definitely did want to pick up another pack or two more. Next, I got this reusable gel tape. I bought some on Amazon a while back, but it's a lot thicker. So I thought uh, this thinner tape, it is three quarters of an inch wide and you get 40 inches of it. I got two of these. I've seen multiple people haul this multi-purpose cleaning paste. And this is a dupe of the pink stuff, which I actually have under my sink here. 
Um, you get seven ounces. It says no more tough stains. And then I, I just picked up two of them. They had a ton, but yeah, this is not something I need to stock up on. It lasts forever. So, and then the last thing I found, I got at the New Cumberland store. So if you are interested, I suggest you go quickly if you're in the area. When I got to the register with these, the cashier asked me where I found them. And I said they were on the shelf. Then the cashier said, well, those aren't supposed to be out because we are going to be a Dollar Tree Plus. So those were supposed to be a plus item. And I just stared at the cashier because I wasn't sure where this was going. They scanned them and they came up $1.25. So I would say go quickly. But I found the Goli Nutrition World's First Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. And it is 120 gummies. And they are best by August of this year. So I tried them in the last haul. I said I didn't like them. Uh, so then I tried them again and they're growing on me. So I'm gonna try these. I'm gonna use them until I run out and see if they make any difference at all. But I stocked up and before anybody says I cleared the shelf, I came nowhere near clearing the shelf. There were tons left. Well, here, let me do it this way. There were so many left. They are on the health and beauty aisle where the medicines are on the bottom shelf. So if you are in New Cumberland and you want to get these, New Cumberland, Pennsylvania, I would suggest you turn this video off and go right now because I don't know if they're gonna take these off the shelves. This was yesterday. So they may have taken them off the shelves, but it doesn't make sense because they did ring up for $1.25. So I would think that if they were Dollar Tree Plus, I don't know, I don't know but I bought four of them because I am going to take them as suggested. Um, I already took some today because I have those little ones and it says one to two gummies three times daily. Enjoy up to six gummies per day. So this is, so if you take the maximum of these, you have 20 days worth in each jar or bottle. All right, so that's everything I found this time around at three Dollar Trees in central Pennsylvania. Newberry, New Cumberland, and Lemoyne. And now I have pictures of items that I saw in the stores that I didn't really want or need, but I thought you might like to see. So make sure you check those out and then meet me right back here. <laughs> back I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this haul if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos you can also find me over on Instagram Pinterest and Facebook at Lee's home 05 thanks for watching bye Thank you.